gallery's been here more than 35 years. The primary purpose for us is to work with living artists who live in this general area um, as far south as Fresno, as far north as maybe Sonoma, all the way out to past Sacramento. Our mission is to support local art through our rental sales and exhibition program so that those funds can keep our artists in this region flourishing. Because we're a nonprofit, we can do shows that are sometimes very um, much more about the art and less about commercial concerns and answering the marketplace's needs. So a lot of artists are quite happy to show here. It gives them a type of freedom that they might not find with their commercial gallery. We have 1,500 pieces here at any one time and more art in artist studios, um, working with over, actively probably over 400, 500 artists right now. Um, over the history of the gallery, it's been thousands of artists. We're that connection between the artists who need to be in their studios working and um, not so concerned with you know, how it's going to get marketed, what's going to be said about it, how what they're doing is going to be easily conveyed to a collector, and then the collector needs to come to a central place, like our gallery, where there's a complete selection, you know, everything from beautiful etchings to large-scale paintings to sculpture to photography. If you think of looking through 1,500 pieces of artwork, that can get very daunting <laughs> very quickly. So where our expertise comes in is, you know, talking to them about their interests, what they want the art to represent of the company or of where they're coming from and then um, pulling together uh, a presentation for them of what we have on hand that we think is the best option or what is in our artist studios that we think is the best option. And so the process really is easy. Most of the artists that choose to work with us tend to be painters. So it really gives us like a, an opportunity to create some depth in Bay Area painting, to really work with a lot of painters over time and to really understand where, where their work is going, where it's been, and the more you're watching an artist develop, the more you're able to really help your client because they should really have that um, history and that background of the artist. When you have a business where there's you know, 15, 20 different board members or different heads of business and they need everyone to agree, the rental program is a great way to um, allow that time for the artwork to come in and people to respond and to have conversations about it and to really feel like it's a great fit for this space. It's, a, it's an interesting process for people to engage with art in their everyday work lives and a lot of them feel excited because it's like the gallery is really coming to them. The art really does reflect this place, either very specifically in terms of depicting different parts of the Bay Area or just it, it really does reflect the, the sensibilities. Um, type of light we have, our long history in things like, for example, the beat movement, or um, our interest in things that are organic and are rooted in nature. I think that people really appreciate an original piece of art, so you can find a lot of, you know, places like art.com or, you know, a, a poster store that will have uh, prints, but I think the attraction to our program is that it's originals, and these are your paintings give you those the texture and the um, that aura of the original artwork that you just can't find in a in a poster or a print. It's quite unique in the nonprofit world to be able to compete with for profits in terms of the, the level of service and the level of quality of product that you provide your clients so much so that they're able to actually help you create a nonprofit that survives and even thrives. The whole movement in the Bay Area of going local, of being green, I think supporting the arts locally is a huge, you know, kind of boom for Bay Area clients that work with us is supporting the, the local creative community that's here. What's exciting to me right now is how much what we do here is about American art. I look at Lewis Watts' work and I think of Robert Frank and the Americans. And it's just that whole type of drawing a little bit of a historical line between those predecessors and the people we're able to work with today thrills me. <laughs>